Hello beautiful women, this is Jennifer and today I would like to talk about two things. One, the power of survival and two, the power of choice. They're both linked in, in this case especially and the reason why I thought about that was because of this morning. As some of you uh, know or heard, uh, my kids have been ill, so a little bit of boogers and a little bit of cough, and I have been taking care of them, right? Now, something very interesting happens when you become a mom. For some reason, you stop getting ill that much. Why? Because you are the one who takes care of them. So you're the one that has to stay stronger. And I remember I used to, before I was a mom, I used to get ill or sick a lot more. A lot, lot more than, than before. And then um, now it's like if I, for example today, I woke up and I felt a little bit of a, kind of like a little scratch on my throat. And immediately I was like, nope, okay, so I'm going to prepare some, I don't know if you like this, but like, um, um, what's the name? Carrot? Carrot with lemon and salt. I come from Mexico, so that's delicious in Mexico. <laughs> and I ate that and it was mm, super yummy. Why? Because it's got um, vitamin C and, you know, everything's healthy. And of course, my um, green powder that has apparently... 81 vital ingredients so of course I've been giving that to my kids because you know when when you're uh, when you're feeling ill you don't feel like eating much but at least they're getting vital ingredients uh, I know they're getting their greens and stuff but anyway focusing when I read the book uh, Man in Search for Meaning by Victor Frankl that I I was really amazed by what I read and some of the things that I read was that their gums were, had never been healthier. They didn't brush their teeth, um, they ate, I mean they, they just never brushed their teeth and their gums was healthy. By this I don't mean at all that you shouldn't brush your teeth, I just mean, I just, I'm just sharing that I read that and that it was really amazing to read that their, gu their gums were healthy without brushing their teeth, you know, just like animals, you know, like dogs, they don't really brush their teeth, yet their gums are healthy. They don't eat uh, junk food either, right, but that happened. Um, people that used to be very have sleeping disorders or the people that you know if they heard a little sound they woke up they could sleep next to someone that snored super loud and they still would get an amazing sleep um, so there were many different examples of how we can endure forever in order to survive so that's why first I want to talk about survival. Now, there's some things that are conscious, there's some things that are unconscious, but it is amazing how we can simply be stronger. And now, choice is the second subject that I want to talk about because there is an amazing power in choice. If we are determined with something, just like with survival, if we are determined to choose to have a meaningful life, we will. Why? Because we will do everything that we can do, that is in our power to do, in order to find meaning in our life, in order to do the things that we know that are in sync with our values in order to stand for ourselves and say, hey, you know what, this goes, this is for me and my values, and this doesn't. 
And some things are scary. Yes, changing from one job to another, it's scary. But you can always, always be wise because it's, it's not being stubborn, it's being wise. And it's like, for example, people that choose to have their online business, right? And they are still stuck in a job that gets them nowhere. But at the moment, it's, it's the food that they're eating, it's the roof that they're living under. So they need the money right now. So they might be in that while they're growing their online business. And once that online business can take care of all of those expenses, then they say goodbye to that job. But not before. Because if they do that, then they're, they're going to be very, very stressed because this isn't as strong yet, right? So we got to be wise with our choices, but focused on what it is that we want. Mm -hmm. For example, in, in the way we eat, sometimes... Um, Sometimes I have been insisted by other people to eat more junk food. So, for example, I was at this uh, friend's house and he was like, hey, you want a cookie? And I was like, yeah, sure. I ate it. Okay. And after that, he was like, do you want another one? No, that's okay. Thank you. And sometimes later, come on. Would you like another one? And I said, no, thank you. Oh, come on, I just eat one more. And I said, you know what? I'm not hungry. And I mean, it's tasteful, but I just don't need the need, don't feel, don't have the need to have another cookie. So although you're asking for me to eat that, I will not. And he stopped asking for me to eat that cookie. So it's not that we're aggressive it's, or, or rude, it's just that, you know, when someone's pushing and pushing and pushing, we have to set a boundary and say, you know, thank you, I ate the first one, maybe the second one if you want more, but just, there's a boundary there. You know, it's like, you know, this is enough. The ways you raise your kids, oh my God, that's... That's such a big subject, you know, that's like another video for another occasion. But that's, you know, everyone raises their kids in a different way. And there's a lot of different judging and things around those things that, oh, you know, I raise my kids like this and I raise my kids like that and, and blah, 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 blah. And then it, it's a pity uh, that there's such a weird pressure in, in how who should be what because you know so that's that generates a lot of stress around women and what the perfect mom is which is a complete myth because there's no such thing as a perfect mom there are many ways to be a good mom and to be honest I believe that our kids chose us so each and one of us are the perfect mom for our kid because every kid needs a different mom that's what I personally think. Now, everyone is free to believe what they want, right? So, it's the choices that you make. We need courage. We need focus. We need a lot of love. A lot of loving ourselves, okay? So, survival, our body, we are truly amazing beings. We can do whatever we can't, within reason, of course, whatever we want, consciously, subconsciously, we're truly amazing beings. So trust your body. Trust your body because your body sort of, in some cases, chooses what you really need for you. And when you, you consciously sort of team up with your body, with your being, you can achieve whatever you want. If you can imagine it, you can conceive it, then, you know, it can be a reality, okay? Walt Disney and many other people have said the same. In other words, 
but they help. Okay? This is Jenny, and as always, I send love. Bye for now.